Hi guys, Jeremy McNeil here, One Star Ambassador in Cambridge, Ontario. Just wanted to give you my week three updates. Um, well, last week I was a little off. There was a lot of life issues that came up and I'm about to uh, divulge the information because I feel like I'm ready now. I've handled it to the best of my abilities and I solved for X. Um, what happened last week was when I came back from Vitality, Actually, um, I went into work the following day on the Monday and they sat me down and basically told me that I no longer have a job. That I have to pick, not necessarily pick between Vaisalis and, and where I was working because I have already made that decision and it was apparent just that my skill set was needed at the, the place of work and that they couldn't afford to have me off and you know what, lots of things that were on the go. Um, so I chose not to take it as a negative. What I needed to do was not sit at home and feel sorry for myself and, and just expect money to just keep coming in through the company or money coming in through the government and sit at home and, and do nothing. I needed to step up. I needed to show myself that I'm a better individual than that, that I'm not going to focus on the negatives. I'm not going to focus on people letting me down saying, Hey, you know what, we're going to push you down as far as you can go. Oh, you're down, let's kick you some more. I'm going to make my life what I want it to be. So I'm tying this into my challenge because I talked earlier about my physical transformation, but I also want to talk about my personal mental transformation. I could have sat there defeated and thinking, you know what, life got in the way yet again. Poor me. But no, you can't be doing that. You have to look at it and say, you know what, for every door that closes, another one opens up. So take that opportunity, because I wasn't happy where I was. I don't like working at that J-O-B, just out of broke. I, I wanted to make something better of myself. So I got off my butt. I went from place to place to place. I hit the pavement. You know what? I'm going to use this as a new social circle, of a new place to work, a new start, and you know what? A new batch of people that I can promote the number one health transformation to. Because you know what? That is my passion, helping people. Now, yeah, I know my cat's happy to see me. Um, the fact of the matter is, people, you make your own destiny. You just have to decide, this is the time for me to step up, to change my destination, my destiny, and that destination in my life journey. Now, just to top things off, here are my results from week three. Now, you know what? Life got in the way. I didn't go to the gym. I went to the cottage. I had to solve for X. There's no gym there. So what did I do? I ended up running with Lori. Lori's transformation or her 90 day challenge is to run in a 10K marathon or a half a marathon. So what did I do? I ran the trail with her. Now, I wasn't training for that. So I felt it the next day on my knees. But the following day, we drove three and a half hours home. 9.30 at night, Lori says, I'm dedicated to this, I need to run. Well, I'm not going to let her run at night. So I went along with her, even though my knees were killing me. But you know what? It all worked out in the end. She got her um, workout in, I got mine in, so I sold for X. Now I need to get back on the track of things because you know what? I did slack off on, on the gym. I did get a new job. Um, I'm enjoying it very much. And uh, unfortunately, it does kind of fall, the hours kind of fall weirdly, but I'm going to have to solve for that now. Um, so anyway, um, all in all, it's, it's not bad. I did two shakes a day. I'm not really on a kit per se, but if I was, I would have to say that I'm on the, um, the fit kit because I do take my go before the workout. I do take my pro during the workout. I do take my Vidify, which isn't in any kit, but I still love it. And I do take two shakes a day, one for breakfast, usually my orange juice, and then one for dinner, usually my strawberries, or you know what, I'm going to treat myself with a root beer float. Lots of op opportunities. Um, so all in all, my uh, measurements are basically the same. I did change my measurements though from a flex bicep rather than a relaxed bicep. You can get all the numbers off my Facebook, and I'll put on the, the comment section here. And But I did go up in weight. I'm just going to chalk that up to life, uh, life decisions, not eating healthy, uh, long weekend up at the cottage, but I'm going to get back on track. I went up to 196 pounds. That's not happy for me. I need to get that back down under 190. So I'm going to have a really aggressive goal for this week to get under 190 pounds. But uh, you know what? I'd be happy with 192, but 190 ideally I know I can do it. 
So it's time to step up, it's time to get this over with, it's time to forget about the past, start from the new, and just, you know what, solve for X. Life gets in the way. You know what, that's it for me. See you next week. Love yous.